Each summer, outstanding Creighton University undergraduate students join with faculty mentors to engage in research in a variety of fields. Thanks to the 2010 Furlick Undergraduate Summer Science Research Scholarship Program. So while some of us were out hitting golf balls into the woods or wearing tights at the Renaissance Fair, let's listen in to what some of these students were doing during their summer vacation. Here we are in a biology lab at Creighton University, and we're about to talk to junior Nick George from Wichita, Kansas. So Nick, tell us what you did this summer. Well, I looked at the uh, effector protein release succession of effector proteins in the type 3 secretion system and Pseudomonas syringae. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Um, I'm good right now. Pseudomonas syringae, huh? So you've heard of it. Oh, yeah, of course, but... Um... Hey, Nick, uh, can I touch any of these bottles over here? Um... Why don't you go ahead and tell us what it's all about? Well, it's a plant pathogen, and it infects plants, and it uses the type 3 secretion system to shoot proteins into the eukaryotic host and cause for an environment that favors the bacterium and kills the host. That's exactly what I was going to say. You nailed it, Nick. Knock, knock. Is anybody home? Hello. How are you? Good. We're here with uh, Emily Adams from Omaha, Nebraska, and she's one of our Furlick Scholars. And I'm wondering if you could tell us the title of your research. My research is, does novelty during development affect the cross-sensitization of nicotine and amphetamine in rodents? I wish I had a dime for every time I heard that question. Thank you. Nicotine and amphetamine in rodents. Pin of nicotine and amphetamine in rodents. So can you tell me a little bit about what your research is about? Um, we're trying to see whether novelty exposure, having toys, um, social cohorts around during development will affect the way drugs affect an individual. Can you talk to me like I'm five? Your friend got the super G.I. Joe who can swim, and you didn't. Now I'm getting it. Why don't you give me your name and where you're from? I'm Tana Friest, and I'm from Johnston, Iowa. Why don't you tell me the title of your research? Uh, it's the characterization of the inhibition of the prion protein in Syrian hamsters. It's working between the physics department and the microbiology department at CUMC. Uh, physics, huh? Okay, stop me if you've heard this one. Uh, a neutron, he walks into the dining hall here on campus and asks the manager, how much for lunch? And the manager looks at the neutron and says, for you, no charge. Well, this is actually the prion protein in the brain. This is what accumulates and causes mad cow disease. Kind of looks like a water park. I'm working with proteins in the brain that contribute to mad cow disease and how we can stop that from happening. Get it? Neutron, no charge. Yeah, I get it, Rick. We're here with Michelle Clevenger, a Furlick Scholar from Fort Wayne, Indiana and she's a junior majoring in chemistry. And uh, what's the title of your research? Um, Paper-based microfluidics and color metric testing. It looks like you forgot to carry the two. Michelle, can you explain your research to us a little bit? My research deals with uh, making um, more cost-effective tests to test for glucose content in urine, which can indicate diabetes. And these tests can be used um, for in-field testing in third world countries. Uh, Michelle, do you know why chemistry students are such great problem solvers? No, why? Because they have all the solutions. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Good, thank you. Uh, we're with uh, Caitlin Britton from Omaha, Nebraska, a senior and one of our Furlick scholars. Uh, Caitlin, can you tell us the title of your research project? My research is testing the hypothesis of the evolution of the alpha amylase gene during human adaptation to a starch diet. Now, is that anything like the South Beach diet? You know, I went on a fad diet for two weeks. How'd that work out for you? Well, I lost two weeks. It actually is testing the amylase gene, which breaks down starch. And because of the invasive nature of the procedure, we can't take it straight from humans. So we're actually having a yeast vector secrete human protein. And once we have the protein, we will test it in an acidic, basic, and post-acidic environment to determine how they duplicated. I'm so grateful to the Furlicks for this opportunity. It's provided me with the resources and opportunity to pursue this and hopefully 
find results that can help others and benefit others. We're here with uh, Aaron Johnson, a junior biochemistry major from Owatonna, Minnesota. Uh, Aaron, can you tell us the title of your project? Um, the title of my project is Antibiotic Development by Investigation of the Glucosamine 6-Phosphate Riboswitch. Uh, Aaron, can you tell us a little about your research? We are investigating the structure and function of the GLMS riboswitch. All right, very funny. Who flipped the riboswitch? Uh, Aaron, can you tell me a little bit about your research? We are investigating the glucosamine 6-phosphate riboswitch and its structure and function in hopes of developing novel antibiotics that can fight off bacteria that have become resistant. You don't need to wear goggles. Uh, we're here with Don Schrack from Bellevue, Nebraska, another one of our outstanding uh, Furlick scholars. And uh, Don, can you tell us the title of your research? Uh, the Structural Characterization and Analysis of the Pre-Cuisine 1-2 Riboswitch. Pre-Cuisine, wow. Can you spell that for us? P-R-E-Q-U-E-U-O-S-I-N-E. -E -E. I bet you're pretty good at Scrabble, aren't you? <laughs> and what can we learn from your research? By studying the structure of the pre-cuisine one 2 riboswitch, we can uh, develop a novel antibiotic that can be used to treat antibiotic-resistant bacteria. And I understand this research is unique for undergraduates. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Of course. Um, I get to use x-ray crystallography to study the structure of my pre-cuisine one 2 riboswitch, and most undergraduates do not get to come in contact with this type of technique. I see you got these nice uh, Creighton blue gloves. Do you mind if I borrow a pair? Oh, go right ahead. Save them for later. Well, that wraps it up. I'll save these for later. Thanks again to the students for having such a fun time with us, and the special thanks to the Furlicks for establishing this scholarship program. Mm -hmm.